Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Quarterfinals. We've got um, Tempest Soul with his Dark Elves versus Toast Guy and his Undead. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Fans of the Blood Bowl, here we are for another quarterfinal, Undead versus Dark Elves, and this game is dedicated to our viewers from... I can't believe it. I reload the page and it came Andorra again. <laughs> oh my god. I choose another country and came Andorra again. That was a mistake. <laughs> yes, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. It can be three times. <laughs> That's why now it's for the country of Kuwait in the <laughs> Middle East region. Oh my god. <laughs> With the national flower is the Arfak and the national dish is the Mutabak Shamak. Hello oh. to our Kuwaitians, uh, Blood Bowl uh, viewers. Glorious. Oh, wow. A this was very, very famous in the 90s, but let's not talk about that. Oh, no, look at this sidestep. So, so Tulsk, uh, Tempest Soul doing, a, doing an absolute, uh, you know, you would be forgiven for thinking that was um, Thomas T playing there instead of sidestepping away. <gasps> no, he's got grab, though. He's got grab. He didn't. He didn't size up away. He grabbed him and then grabbed him and then that's how he ended up there. Okay, I was like, why did he size step there? I thought I thought he'd done a Thomas T and side stepped forward, but no, he got grabbed back for the gang foul. Great play by Toast Guy. Um, so Toast Guy's got a bribe. That's the only inducement. They are both quite low TV teams. About sixteen fifty versus seventeen fifty. Uh, Thirteen players for the undead. Twelve for the dark elves. Well, 11 I now. I to say, those mummies look nice. Mmm, and Apple's gone already, so this is huge for Tempest Soul. Um, <laughs> just because you were a mad-ass, Thomas T. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> oh, Thomas T, you're here. You're here, man. Yes, yes. This I is mean, something you do, isn't it? Yes, you play very aggressively, with, uh, you know, the side the step in a way. It's not a thing you will see much in your games, which I love. The way yeah. you play, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but you were you were in the you were in this CCL, you know, with Dark Elves, right? <laughs> it's not only you, but you know, you should be happy. You should be happy that you get name dropped for, for, for that. Exactly, you know, we're, and also with honest uh, respect, not very common in this channel. <laughs> <laughs> the, people, the first time chatters, the people win chats for the first time ever after watching for years. It's just to talk shit about the coaches. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the, what do the teams look like? Oh, I think there is a Mighty Blow Tackler, isn't there? Yep, so yeah, Guard Mighty Blow Tackler and a Rookie. Mighty Blow Tackle, I guess you don't even need Pom, you just need Mighty Blow Tackle from the dead team. Um, and yeah, actually using the grab, really nice from Toast Guy. Some dirty players and uh, some ghouls and that, yeah, not, not bad team, is it? Not that many ghouls actually um, on the team, which is a weakness. And then Toast Guy has some blood steppers. <laughs> it's about all. <laughs> Put over side the step, yes. I mean, it's a team that needed more uh, you skills but you get line. what you get it's been a already for the final so probably have lost players indeed hello singolo um well we did your game just now so i guess this isn't spoilers if people are watching them out of sequence that's their fault so congratulations singolo congratulations on the win singolo i think during the first half you were a little worried that yeah, yeah. Martin uh, did a... Uh, oh, I play well. Mm. I thought, I thought, I thought, uh, I thought Martin Septon played great on defense, but um, but yeah, on offense, you yes, tend to I love, I we love. Uh, you can watch the ball. We love the dodge with the troll slayer. Yeah, absolutely gets the five mil seal of approval. Date uh -huh. <laughs> night. <laughs> God, imagine, imagine somebody in the world watching Blood Bowl on date night. <laughs> well, well, well. 
Define date night for a Blood Bowl coach. <laughs> you know? This is an unsafe ball, isn't it, by the way? It's just... What the hell, man? Like, there's a guard right here, so, so he can just be one died instantly. <sighs> Not sure about that. Oh, he's gonna no. foul the guard. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, but still, I still don't like it, man. Just one back, just one back with a goal. But the, he rolled a six for the armor anyway, so he would have been sent off for no effect if he didn't have that extra assist. <laughs> and got a the bribe works. Mm. Just one <laughs> back and you've got a safe ball. You know, like one back and you've got a safe ball. You know, Thomas needs preparing, you know, for the, the special day night, you know, both a special uh, high quality block of butter, <laughs> you know, with uh, herbs and all that. And now, ruin it. The, the butter doesn't have time to melt. That's how quick they play. <laughs> yep. So we're on, we're on replay at the moment because uh, both matches run at the same time. Um, but Singolo and my accepting both play very, very quickly, so they were done super fast. Yeah, this is a very, really interesting. This is really I mean, interesting. <laughs> unless the undead make a mistake, I don't see many chances for the elves to get the ball here. Nope, and this is very sensible. Ooh. Ooh. Apart from not making it three it. dice. Yeah, apart from not making it three dice. But even then, like, three dice is a commitment, right? You'd have had to put in the guard here and another guy there. But, I mean, maybe he could have, maybe he could and should have done made it three dice. But I think it's reasonable not to and then just try and, you know, push forward here. <laughs> Faster in Blood Bowl than it used to in StarCraft. Yeah, fa faster average time. <laughs> But a faster than average J5. time than J5 is unbelievable. <laughs> it's better than being known for turn 15 catastrophic mispositioning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true, Thomas. <laughs> I mean, you're known for that too, buddy. You know, you've, you've got more than one string to your bow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Thomas. You have a lot of medals to carry on. Oh man, I don't, I don't know if you've seen the VOD Thomas T, but Fault Force was on with me, who's got a win rate of about 20%, and he said, the positioning of the diving tackle will be critical this turn. <laughs> <laughs> he, he managed to go to a square that had absolutely zero impact whatsoever. <laughs> it was incredible. Oh my god, it was the funniest, it was the funniest thing. <laughs> It was the funniest thing, though. Oh, my God. And it's fair enough, people make mistakes, don't they? It's not the end of the world. But it was just, it was so great that Faulty had called it. Like, Fault Force of all people. <laughs> like, oh, well, a broken uh, clock, you know, gives the time uh, to uh, right twice for this. Yeah. And say the step on the ball, which I'm not sure it does much because the. <laughs> yes, it just it the whole carrier as a tackle, and yeah. there is the grab piece with block. Yeah, yes, he, did. he didn't need that. He didn't need to fill that in. He just need. He just wanted the assist for three dice, or he forgot about bra grab one of the two. I um, think the three dice was the right thing. I think uh, I was thinking maybe past turn I made a mistake there. Let's solve it now and this grab. Oh. First of all, very good job by uh, Toss Guy making the mummies relevant every single turn. Many yeah. under players, you know, the coaches doesn't manage to get them, you know, in the thick of it. Yeah, he has left himself half. with a bit to do though, right? This is turn six. So, you know, okay, the mummies are relevant, but he's he's got some movement to do here. Like he's, he's, he, I know he's technically only got to be one square forward, but like... You don't want to have to GFI, right? So it's going to be a little. No, bit uh, he, he needs he needs to move the three squares at least. Let's start to just say all right. Broken mm. fall for this. Oh, I hated this.
Will this work? Oh, maybe no. now. Well, that. He's lost if it's double one. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Rip me. Well, not rip me. Rip him. So now he can probably push up down the side here, or he could just do, do the dodge and blitz him, right? So it's it's probably good. you're probably gonna blitz the witch though and, and do it safer. Oh. I think I think he's going for the blitz uh, for the 3D again uh, with the block uh, grab. Uh, mm. Yes. Yeah, like this is such like such incredible payoff, right? You get the full cage all the way down the field. It's just that one time in nine you lose. Well, didn't. Yeah, that was the problem, like because he hadn't moved before, he just he just needed to he needed that to get down the. Down yes, the field. and that's probably the deepest I've seen a mummy on the pitch yeah. for a long, long time. Yeah. Fair enough, Thomas T. That that was the only thing that was bad, I think, you know, like mostly we were mostly complimentary, I think, but um Yeah, that that turn fifteen was something. Wait. Was I there at the game two in the booth? Um, I don't remember right now. No no it, it was me and Fault Force. It was Fault Force. Ah. Fault Force and I, and I think somebody else joined later. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you did. You did yeah, join. It was me. Yeah, you did it join. It was me. Yes. Yeah, you did Don't join. Don't worry, Thomas T. I can't remember anything about the turn 15. <laughs> I yeah, usually just forget the Blood Bowl games as soon as they end. Yeah, I do. I tend to as well, to be fair. Well, there you go. A skull, and now easy touchdown. He hasn't had much removals, has he, after the that in, like, initial Kaz regen fail on turn one, but... Lovely 3D here. It's great, isn't it, having the... Like, it's funny, the grab mummies kind of think of them as... Like, the grab has been a bit rubbish. Like, I still think the grab being a bit rubbish on the mummies, but it's getting great value uh, against the, these. In a, Doesn't once 3D. in a while, there is a game where uh, the grab will uh, shine. And mm. very good use of the mummies uh, by the undead here. Yep. Yeah. Also, in defense of the Dark Elves, the Dark Elves doesn't have much. No, no. There is no... There is one guard. Yeah, guard nudge up. He's KO'd. And that's and about that's it. And that's it. Yeah, just loads of and that's it. And then when your sidestep's countered by the two grabbers, it's, it's bad times, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I mean... Uh, Funny enough, Rick might have had a decent chance against against these undead. Like, cause the undead well, Rick aren't, aren't always nice Rick anymore. always have a decent chance against anyone. Mm. He's the Rick Pedor of a coach kind. Flip <laughs> me. Oh boy, how do you riot? That is a nightmare for the undead and toast guy. Uh, after looking like, you know, he gets the perfect stall. Looks like it's one 0 at half time. This could be, this could almost be GG the other way, couldn't it? Flip me. Hello, Zander. Um, it is Chunter versus Glorious. Cyber Knight no, on I Monday. Nineteen UTC. Victorious. And I will defend the I will chaos. Defend. And honestly, I think Chunt is probably favourite, despite despite Cyber's insane team. He's suddenly down to eleven players, and he's he's only got one claw pommer for the game. I think honestly, Chunt is probably favourite for that game. Crazy. And thank you, Absolute Pinnacle, staying fantastic for one whole beaver pregnancy for glorious months. Whoa, whoa, thank you whoa, whoa. so much. In the uh, beaver pregnancy territory now. Yeah, we're hey. 
<laughs> yep, two um, unbelievable players. Yep, that's it's absolutely huge. I think it, it's maybe maybe has made it made Chunt a favourite. Which is, seems crazy, doesn't it? But like Chunt is nearly as bangy as Cyber because just you know you can only blitz one time, right? So 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 Chunt can get a strength four blitz with Claw Mighty or a Claw Pom blitz if it's if it's prudent and you know if he starts banging him well guess what uh cyber knight's team isn't movement nine and edge four <laughs> so yeah that's the thing if uh, chandler gets his uh, banger dice on that's it yeah not nothing can live with skaven if they if they get the removals like it's ridiculous like it's completely ridiculous it's so easy for them to high roll and they're so unbelievable when they do nope he Goes for the break tackle in, doesn't get it. Um, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I love break tackle in that kind of pieces. Uh, yeah, the surprise factor. Yeah. So it looks like. Oh, he's got leap. He's just gonna leap. He's just gonna leap. He's oh, got there leap. You go. See Easy. You later, losers. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Easy task than I ever seen in this game. <laughs> I was just thinking about the blocks and that to get it free. He just, just did casual <laughs> leap, no problem. So the riot gives some air to the dark elves that now oh. have to uh, receive. Mm. Well, in a way, it's good for the game that the edge five is out, isn't it? Because that makes it hard. Like you know, it's a bit unfair for Torsky the riot, but now um, the edge five staying out is a bit. Even with look, evens up the look a little bit. And now uh, Tempest Soul have to play the game of run away from the mummies. I w yeah, I wonder if you'll Daka, will he Daka? Nine players, no wizard or anything. Only one, oh, two tacklers, three two dirty tacklers, players. Brother. Grab. I quite like. I quite like the Daka here. I mean, I always like the Daka, but... <laughs> Looks like uh, it's going to be a Daka. Four. Protecting uh, against the bleed. And uh, here we go. Oh, baby. Someone called uh, catching up on these at half time, and we, we are nearly caught up to, re to 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 live after after the first half. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep, we're just gonna dacker. Oh, glorious, glorious dackering. Love a good Daka. And it's interesting now, do you like try and seal the sides with the uh, mummies? But then obviously you've got absolutely zero responsiveness, but then they don't really have a lot of responsiveness in the middle, so I guess you do have to go to the sidelines with the mummies. And then like then you totally hold the sidelines. And then you just have like your three responsive players towards the middle. Daka elves. Daka elves. It's gonna take a few turns for the uh, for the undead to even get vaguely in shape to stop the stop the delves here. Also, four rerolls for uh, each coach here. Yeah. Loads of rerolls. Did Toast yes. Guy get dackered against earlier? And I think he didn't play. Oh uh, yeah, I think it, it was versus Memento Mori, wasn't it? He uh, he dackered versus Toast Guy, and Toast Guy didn't defend great against it. So we'll see if he's learnt his lessons from that game. Or if he will defend similarly poorly 
curse we'll is see now if he if he watched the vod or not mm, indeed yes the end they, they don't have uh, many tools yeah it's rough it is rough oh, outrageous doing the <laughs> Doing the vanity passing, love to see it. Which yeah. elf on which elf axe on here? Like the videos you watch in the middle of the night, guys. <laughs> That's the real Blood Bowl coaches date night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I was doing my favorite cosplayer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think you really have to seal the edges with the mummies. I think they're just like they're so good, right? You seal the edges with the mummies, and then uh, and that gives you more stuff in the middle. This is uh, yeah, this is not how to defend the Dakar. So I'm gonna bet I'm gonna bet on Temper Soul from here. Oh, I don't like this, I think. Give him another turn to come towards you. I guess it is turn 11, so turn 12 you can go, but... I think I would have held my nerve for another turn. You know, maybe, maybe just like nudged. Nudge the team over to one side, and then see if he held his shape or not. But, uh, this is this is fine, probably. It is nice having the grab, isn't it? He can he can blitz this guy and put him on the sideline. He's not going to. I think that's terrible. I love this blitz to stick him on the sideline, right? Because then you're threatening the surf because you've got grab. And uh, and you're kind of trapping him behind there and everything. Really nice, really nice blitz there. And he's like the best first, furthest forward player. Yeah, I guess he's going to mighty blow this guy. But I would have I loved that blitz. Of course, didn't get the push on him, so... So this looks way better. <laughs> and yeah, oh, I was going to say, that lets, that lets the, the mummy get in here, which would have actually been pretty nice if you wanted to. I think I, I think I would have just not gone forward last turn, just because yeah, you are going to have to base the mummies, right? But I guess, oh yeah, like just a little bit of a faint, like that's the thing, you know, a bit of a faint up the right. And then either he bites and you go left, or he if, if he just nudges his team over as well, it just gives you that extra space on, on the left, doesn't it? So I, I liked a little, a little shift right last turn. And as it was, like he did a bit of a move right, but maybe it's too much of a move right. He pals here. He could he could foul that guy with a dirty clear, but I guess he's not so caring so much about the fouling as he is. Just trying to get in the way at all costs. Gets the pal. Oh wow! We've got a Thomas T sidestep. <laughs> this one actually was. Doesn't foul. <laughs> That's totally going to be a thing now. 
Go. Oh, we've got a weak spot. We've got a weak spot. Can he exploit it very much? Not that much, actually. But I still think probably go for it. <laughs> to my step. I think I would have tried to go. The problem is, if you try to go through that, where do you even go? It's not ideal, is it? I tried to contact Dimmy today, but he's just down his foxhole. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not responding. Hey Jimmy, I just wanted to say your BB2 guides have really helped me out. I'm still trash, but much better than when I started. I'm gonna give vamps a go. Any advice? Oh yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah. My, my. My advice is don't give Vamps a go, but um, thank you very much for the five, are glorious, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, I did try Vamps, I, I didn't really enjoy them, but obviously some, some people really like them, um, but I don't, so I can't give a lot of advice, I guess Eliod, Eliod would be a good go-to, and uh for God's sake, I've been muted all this time. Yeah, I thought you'd just gone off somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just erased the the mic to uh, <laughs> blow my nose. And like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tobias Fung, thanks for the $5. Character, uh, name it after the character in the best comedy show ever, Arrested Development. Uh... When well, Tobias Fung is an analyst and a therapist. <laughs> God, yeah. <clears throat> I like rolling dice, what can I say? Um, I didn't go Mighty Blow piling on. Yeah, like, you know, some people like them. Some people like them. But, um... Vampires, very fun to watch. Horrible to play, in my opinion. With them and against them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan, but, you know... Some people are. <laughs> so, if you think you might be a fan, you should try them, right? Hello, Rick. Rick Arino. No problem. It isn't. It isn't the balance. Yeah. I mean, well. Hmm. That's a bit more of a Rickism than a <laughs> than a Jimism. It doesn't look that much in the balance. It's looking pretty good. Probably for Rick the, uh, was checking the excellent quality of his uh, package from uh, Hello Phrase that received today. <laughs> Go to his channel and you can get a, a code for a special discount on HelloFresh. There you go, look at that. What a pro, what a pro Fimeer is. Trying to get some sponsors for this channel. <laughs> you know. And there's also that amazing video there. Oh, there you go, one in nine. And now it looks done, doesn't it? Now it looks done. I mean, we need to get Eliod. We need to get Eliod on the line. Eliod, is it over? <laughs> I think even Eliod might say this is over. It's it's not 100% over, but it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Like, you know, he's got this tackler here, but he's not in range. He's not in range. So, yeah, I guess, I guess this is pretty over. Man, I don't even know how these pro streamers get the HelloFresh thing and the Raid Shadow Legends. Artemis just said, it's Streamlabs. And I signed up with Streamlabs, I haven't got anything, so I don't know what the hell. Well, how the hell he meant to get it all. Must be uh, some guy, uh, someone there working with, uh, with them hates you, Jimmy. That's the only answer. The bounties, uh, Lupac told me about bounties, I haven't been able to get bounties. I just haven't, I just haven't got a clue. Like maybe I should just give up and get like a normal, get a real job. Just can't be a pro stream, it's just not possible. Maybe I should do Hello Fresh, make my own company called Hello Fresh, which is just mass quantities of rice, broccoli, and chicken. <laughs> There you go. Frozen broccoli, a bag of 20 kilos of rice, frozen <laughs> chicken. Bags of frozen chicken. There you go. Settle for the year. Thighs. Thighs, Fimeo. Chicken thighs. That's what I like. 
You don't go for the breast? No, My France. God. Mm. Breast, uh, well, the breast isn't as nice meat as the thighs, I don't think. I like, I know it's, I know it's like leaner, but you know, the thighs taste nicer. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I tasted a chicken thigh. Mm. I'm gonna order chicken from the chippy tonight. Just <laughs> to remember, oh, the, to the chicken chippy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, hello, fresh with a gym guarantee. Perfect. Uh, Vamps will not be in Blood Bowl three at launch, and they're not in. They're not in Blood Bowl twenty twenty yet. Um, They've got they've got animal savagery, which is like a uh, a band aid to allow them to be playable, and but they you know they'll they'll get like a proper they'll get a proper redo at some point one would assume, but they haven't had that yet. Oh God, yeah, Jimmy, fantastic chocolate as well. Oh my God, amazing. Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Have a bit of Jimmy's Big End. <laughs> with, your, <laughs> with your chicken, broccoli and rice. Man, if only. But yeah, that, that, it's a shame that Riot killed the game, isn't it? Almost, like, almost decided the game. Like, I know, and there's a lot of play in the second half, and, you know, I think Torskai could have defended the deck a better. Um... Quite a bit of a risky move by Tempestor to break through, but he did a good job, didn't he? Broke through the, broke through the down the left side there, and uh, I have to say that in both offenses, the coach and the offense have maximized the use of his pieces. Yeah. The first half, the use of the mummies was uh, really good, and in the second half, uh, Tempestor have used. The side step and you know and all the skills and all that the best uh, he could and looks like he's nearly a done deal. Yeah, it's nearly over and who knows what would have happened if he'd sealed the edge. Like at the end of the day, he did go down the edge, didn't he? Uh, Temper so like that's how he made the breakthrough. That's usually where they're going to break through down the edge. So like I just if you've got a strength five stand firm player, I don't know how you don't put the strength five stand firm players on the wings, you know. But there you go. He didn't. <laughs> Going for the 2D on the ball, I guess, with, with doing this guy first. So it's going to be a 4-3 to 2D the ball with Wrestle. Interesting. That look like a better idea before using the roll. <laughs> yeah. Glorious Penamir. Oh yeah, poachies, yeah, poachies, eggs. There'd be some eggs and some beans as well, yeah. I could make a Hello Fresh for myself. And, and, and a selection of coffees from uh, Fold Force. <laughs> no, no, tea, oh, tea, yeah, Rington's tea, right? I, I should totally make, I should totally put everything I eat in a week in like in a, in a, in a cardboard box and write Hello Fresh on it and do it, do a skit. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Tall so, soldiers. I haven't had one in ages, actually. Uh, Matthew Nadal loves them, and uh, but yeah, tall soldiers are pretty good. They're pretty. I haven't had one in ages. I just started having more poachies, more poachies and scramblies. But yeah, I might have a toast. Tall soldiers. Four. <laughs> goes for the foul but the thing uh, is that yeah, the elves then. do need another turn of stall right they do need another turn of stall because if they uh, if they go in now the, the the undead might two turn against them so it's interesting it's super interesting like do you do you I guess you can go in there and you can so you can blitz this guy and then two plus out there that's pretty good two plus out there and then you can have put well, the ball here and like a screen there that's pretty good. He can assist. He no, goes through for a blitz. Yeah, the witch uh, can, if he does two GFIs, can only be based by the ghouls, which is all right. Yeah. And if you take away the tackle, uh, 
danger from the white, which I don't know why that piece is there and not in contact with the white. Yeah, is it just gonna score? No. No. Oh. I, oh, okay, so the tackler's just not in range. So, but. And nothing's in range. So it can only get. But I still much preferred standing here, blitzing there first. Or maybe not even stand, like, stand here and then do that dodge and GFIs and then do this blitz, right? So that... Right. But I guess you're out of range anyway. But the, I guess if you use the rear on the first GFI, then you can do this dodge out and this dodge through and blitz and then that dodge through and get right in the way. Hmm. Who knows? Doesn't matter anyway. He's, he's, it's worked out. Oh, okay, that's 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 a way to get the witch out that way. That's fair enough. Being a handsome is chaos. <laughs> that's a line. That's a line, guys. That's why you know. Don't be handsome. <laughs> oh, Messi scored. If you're interested. All right. I mean, I'm supporting Mexico in that game. You know, Viva Mexico, cojones. But. Uh, <laughs> No surprise that Messi score. No. Oh, so many, so many funny videos after uh, Argentina lost. Oh, it's glorious, <laughs> glorious. <laughs> because Argentinians obviously go all in with the football. So when they lose, it's absolutely a complete meltdown. <laughs> no. Still battling, you might be able to force a one in thirty six or one in twelve nine six, so it's fair enough, isn't it? Doing the Nothing right thing. Nothing to lose. Yeah. Nothing to lose. I mean uh, he just uh, roll some dust and pray. Yeah. Yeah, no reason not to. Even though it's over. <laughs> Don't say it's over. He's got to power him. He's got to power him so that he can get the uh, ghoul on the ball. Really nice sidestep square as well. Really good. That makes it. Uh... Because now he's got to do a four plus dodge and he's got yes. to jump up instant hit. A five plus dodge, even, isn't it? Could have fouled it first, yeah, that makes sense actually, right? That still makes has sense. The, still has the bribe. Oh! Oh, dice. Oh! Terrible foul. I would never have done that kind of foul. <laughs> it, that's not the, this is not the time to do those kind of fouls. <laughs> that was a gr great idea, actually, wasn't it? It was definitely the right play. Um, I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure, but I think it was the right play. Just for the fact you can get blitz, no, block, yeah, blitz by, blocked by instantly. And now it's time to pray for the ghoul. Yeah. Will the ghoul die? No, he's got oh. there. So there you go, guys. Two plus for a. Uh... Yeah. Pass down here. Yeah, gets it. Well, there was a lot of uh, there, <laughs> there was an awful lot of uh, there was an awful lot of <laughs> suspense about that. <laughs> yes, either. yes, he didn't wait or anything on the as you know plane or did anything. Yes. <laughs> Instantly clicks. And, and now the only chance of the undead is the riot. 
Yes, yeah, I don't think he'll be able to get a move 7 1 turn here. Especially when there is a only one. Oh no, there is another good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's possible, but I mean, I don't think it's up to stop the one turn here. Even against the move 7. Well, he's staying up a little bit. Maybe he's thinking with a right more than the one turn, right? I mean, one turn he has a. The undead has two stand firms. He's got grab. So actually, yes, sorry, sorry. I was thinking about the <laughs> the undead having to defend versus the one turn. No, the, the, he has grab. Yes, yes he's which... got grab. So actually, you might actually have to really consider the one turn here. He hasn't got frenzy though, so it's it's pretty difficult still. Honestly, like it's pretty difficult. It is pretty difficult, but if he can get the pushes without using the blitz, which he might be able to with grab, and then be able to blitz through, it's just it's just so hard because he's got like you know chain, he's got to chain extra person up who then chains the ball forward. So like it's it's proper difficult. But I mean, if you can do it without using the blitz. That'd be incredible. And obviously his players are so slow they can't move around to fill in slots and stuff. So... So he's got to know how to do it, and then he's got to roll all the dice. And... Uh, who knows? It's already looking incorrect. Incorrect. All this preparation for just roll triple skulls, X skulls mm -hmm. for everyone. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I don't think he's got it, to be honest. It's really not easy to move seven one turn, even with sidestep. Just because you've got to like, you know, you've got to get that extra person without fr like it's it's pretty easy with frenzy, but without frenzy it's it's a pain in the ass. Okay, mummy blocks grabs next to the other mummy. Yeah, this looks better. And he goes there. But he's got he's got to chain an extra person, like that's the thing, right? Like the thing is having to chain the extra the extra player like makes it so much harder. I reckon. Oh yes, yes, I you can be guaranteed that those guys uh, thinking about this uh, big time, maybe he should have prepared for this kind of a scenario. You know, having a few setups prepared for the, the one turns with the movement seven and two grab. Yeah, yeah. It, because that's something you can prepare because you know your team. So just say, okay, if the other coach does this. Yeah. Yeah, he probably should know that. Like, again, it was like with with frenzy, it's like super easy. It would be really easy with frenzy, but without it, it's super hard. But yeah, he, he should know, right? He should know how to do it. And it's not uh, any deal respect for those guys, but he, I think he will agree that yeah, investing some time or uh, preparing, you know, how to do the one turn with the grapplers. Well, I already hate this because this could have been a later block to like get people forward. So this is just trash. <laughs> Doing this straight ahead didn't even push him there to fill in that square. I guess maybe you could be moving him in to fill this. But still, I'm sure this could have made a generated a push forward. Yes, I don't like that the elf uh, 
Yeah, so he's going yeah. there, and then he and then he can sidestep to here. If you do the pick up and pass and cast, then people won't know you don't know how to do the one turn. That's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Not being mean to him. <laughs> it was just a joke. It's I just don't see how he's going to do it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't see how he's going to get the. Uh, You okay, can get the him to here. On the left hits. You can get him to here. And you can get him Grabs. to here. You can get him three, but I don't know how to see how you get him the fourth. I guess blitz. You just use the blitz to get the fourth. Yeah, okay. You can just use the blitz to get the fourth. Yeah, he's, he's got to use the blitz to get the fourth. Yeah, the white has to come in here. Oh, he's blocked his path anyway. Oh, God, this is a disaster. I think he was thinking of going the other way. No, With the just... uh, ghoul going uh, to his top left. Yeah, but it, this is, isn't going to work because how does he get the extra push? He has he had to go here, so he could get another push. Like it's just this is just fucked. <laughs> um, hello, Mankis, the Mankis meat throttler. Oh, Mankis is here. Oh, buenas, Vulcan C sesenta y seis. Everybody is here. You know there is a weird night where there is not Andy Davo or uh, Rick streaming. <laughs> Glorious. So everybody is coming here. <laughs> See, good, to know, good to know we are the last option. <laughs> Imagine if he hadn't made that hit, right? He could have made this hit, got it to there, then blocked there, and then pushed him there, and then done the blitz or whatever. But like, it's just, it's just, this was a fuck up. To be honest. And Tbh, now... this was a fuck up. And now the zombie hits to get another push. Oh! No, he couldn't save it. I was thinking maybe he could have saved it by, yeah, hitting with a zombie to there. Uh, so then he could hit with this zombie, but it, that doesn't work either. No, it's just, it's just, he just fucked it. He, ha he had to be here for to get the extra hit and stuff. So. Or frenzy, right? Frenzy works. But yeah, it was, it was badong. It was badong. But you know, at least he tried. <laughs> oh, so he can power him back there. Oh no, he's done it wrong. No, it wouldn't have mattered. I was thinking if he goes there, he blitzes, then pushes him back, and then he could have got the extra hit there, but then he'd still just get him one forward anyway. So no, that didn't work either. Bad and wrong, yeah, that was, what was that? That was, uh, something, wasn't it? Uh, some, it was, some, some movie was bad on. Anyway, um, Kung Pao, yeah, into the fist. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not obviously not too down on Toast Guy. Like, that was a one, hard one turner. Um, but yeah, like, it was really hard to figure out on the fly as well, right, in, in a few minutes. Um, and obviously he was robbed by the riot. So there you go. But, you know, congrats to Tempest Soul. Somehow getting through to the semi-finals. Uh, first against Rick, now against Torskai. Great, great run for him. Uh, so congrats to him. Commiserations, Torskai. Thank you very much, Fymir. Been absolutely glorious, as always. It's always a pleasure to be here. And a big hello to our viewers in Kuwait. That uh, I hope they enjoy the game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.